Have you ever wondered how a serene mountain can suddenly turn into a fiery fountain of molten rock? Welcome to the fascinating world of volcanoes. These majestic natural wonders, brimming with a paradox of creation and destruction, can eject pyroclastic flows and tephra in a blink. Beneath their calm exterior, a magma chamber churns, waiting for the right moment to unleash its might. Yet these fiery beasts are not just agents of chaos, they also harbor life and enrich our soils. Stay tuned as we delve into the heart of these fiery beasts and uncover their secrets. Don't forget to subscribe to SciSips. To understand volcanoes, we must first journey into the Earth's crust where the drama unfolds. The Earth's crust is more than just a solid shell. It's a dynamic, ever-changing landscape with tectonic plates constantly shifting and sliding. When these plates collide, one plate can be forced down into the mantle in a process known as subduction. The heat and pressure of the mantle cause the subducted plate to melt, forming magma. This magma is less dense than the surrounding rock and begins to rise, cutting a path through the crust. But not all magma is created by subduction. Deep within the earth, plumes of hot rock rise from the boundary between the core and the mantle. These mantle plumes can also generate magma in a process known as lithospheric decompression. As these plumes rise, the pressure decreases, leading to partial melting of the mantle material. Now let's talk about the types of volcanoes these processes can create. First, we have shield volcanoes. These gentle giants, like the Hawaiian Islands, are built from layers of fluid lava flows. Their wide shield-like shape is a result of this flowing lava, which can travel great distances before cooling and solidifying. Then we have cinder cone volcanoes. These are the smallest type of volcano and are made up of loosely cemented volcanic fragments called cinders or scoria. They have steep conical shapes and often form on the flanks of larger volcanoes. Lastly, we have composite or stratovolcanoes. These are the classic cone-shaped volcanoes that you might picture when you think of a volcano. They are built from alternating layers of lava flows, volcanic ash and cinders. These volcanoes can produce powerful eruptions like Mount St. Helens in 1980. Each of these volcanoes has its unique characteristics formed by the interplay of magma, tectonic forces and the Earth's crust. They are testament to the powerful geological processes at work beneath our feet. So that's the birth of a volcano, but what happens when it erupts? An eruption is a spectacular display of Earth's power, but what forces trigger this explosive event? Let's delve into the heart of the matter. Eruptions come in two basic types, effusive and explosive. Effusive eruptions happen when magma, that's molten rock from beneath the Earth's crust, escapes through cracks in the surface, flowing out slowly and steadily. Picture a bottle of ketchup tipping over, that's your effusive eruption. Now for the explosive ones, it's more like shaking up a soda can and popping the top. These eruptions occur when the magma is thick and sticky, a characteristic we call high viscosity. This viscous magma traps gases under pressure, and when the pressure exceeds what's bearable, boom, we get an explosive eruption. These explosive outbursts often come with pyroclastic flows, fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic matter. They also spawn lahars, deadly mud flows made of water, ash, and rock debris. And let's not forget the volcanic ash. This isn't your barbecue pit ash. It's tiny, jagged pieces of rock and glass that can blanket entire landscapes and pose serious risks to health and aviation. The type of eruption and the hazards they pose, whether it's a slow-moving river of lava or a sky-darkening ash plume, are largely determined by the magma's viscosity and its gas content. Eruptions can be catastrophic, but they also pave the way for life. From the ashes of destruction, life emerges thriving in the nutrient-rich volcanic soil. Indeed, volcanoes, despite their fiery facade, are cradles of life, nurturing unique ecosystems. Around these geological wonders, life teems in every nook and cranny, from the smallest microbes to the hardiest plants. Let's talk about thermophiles, a group of heat-loving microbes that flourish in the hot, acidic conditions around volcanoes. These little survivors are a testament to nature's resilience and adaptability. Even in seemingly harsh conditions, life finds a way. But it's not just these minute life forms that benefit from volcanic activity. Large, robust plants also thrive in the fertile volcanic soil. The reason? Volcanic ash is rich in minerals, making it an excellent natural fertilizer. This also translates to benefits for agriculture. 
Volcanic regions often host lush farmlands, their crops nourished by the mineral-dense soil. So volcanoes aren't just about destruction, they also offer a wealth of resources. And these resources contribute to the cycle of life, showcasing the intricate balance of our planet's ecosystems. Volcanoes are not just natural phenomena, they are also a source of untapped potential. Imagine harnessing the raw power of a volcano, turning that heat and energy into something useful. That's the principle behind geothermal energy. We're talking about using the Earth's own heat to generate electricity, heat homes and more. And it's not just about energy. Volcanoes are also treasure troves of valuable minerals. Ever heard of a little thing called gold? Yeah, you can thank volcanoes for that. And copper, silver, even diamonds. All brought to us by the power of volcanoes. But how do we make the most of these fiery giants without getting burnt? That's where technology comes in. We use seismographs to detect the slightest tremors indicating a potential eruption. Gas sensors monitor changes in the air and satellite imagery gives us a bird's eye view of the situation. From a source of fear to a resource for innovation, volcanoes continue to shape our world. Volcanoes, with their fiery fury and life-giving ashes, are a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. These magnificent natural phenomena, in all their destructive and constructive glory, give us a glimpse into the heart of our world. We've journeyed through the depths of geological processes, witnessed the explosive science of eruptions, and marveled at the ecosystems that thrive in the shadow of these fiery giants. We've also seen how human innovation harnesses the raw power of volcanoes, from predicting eruptions with cutting-edge technology to tapping into their geothermal energy. Volcanoes are not just symbols of nature's fury, but also of its bountiful generosity, enriching our soils and fostering unique life forms. They hold the promise of untapped resources, renewable energy, and a deeper understanding of our planet. So don't forget to subscribe to SciSips for more thrilling scientific adventures. So the next time you see a mountain, remember it might just be a slumbering giant waiting to awaken.